Hey guys, I'm Oliver from the 8th Grade Futures Academy and today I'm going to be busting myths. Let's go. Alright, so what if I told you that I could keep paper dry underwater? Let's find out how we're going to do that. Alright, so... I have this piece of paper here. I'm going to crumple it. And put it at the end of this glass. Put it at the bottom. Make sure it's at the bottom. When I turn it around, I want to make sure it doesn't fall out like that. And now, I'm going to put this glass into this water. Fully submerge it under the water like this. Alright, moment of truth. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, so as you can see, the glass is fully submerged under the water right now. Alright, and now once I take it out. As you can see, dry paper towel. My hand is wet, so now it's kind of wet, but paper stayed dry. Amazing, huh? So even though the paper towel was underwater, it stayed dry. Why did it stay dry? Air pressure. When the glass is lowered into the water, the air is trapped inside and has nowhere to go. And when the air is trapped inside, the air pushes the water away from the glass. When the air pushes the water away, it keeps the water from touching the paper towel, which is why the paper towel stayed dry in the end. Or start. Hey, hey, wasn't ready. All right. So even though the paper towel was underwater, it stayed dry. Why did it stay dry? Why did it stay dry? Oh my God. Okay. Cut. No, it's a bluebird. Just record. I'm. I'm gonna like delete it later. Yeah, just, anyways. Just cut it. Cut it. This is because of the. Damn. It. When the air pushes away the towel, pushes away the water, not the towel. When the glass is lowered into the water, the air is trapped inside and has nowhere to go. And keep recording. Oh, uh, what? What? Then what are you doing? Stop flipping the camera. 